Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new start of a brand new adventure with me. Uh, as you can see we're here on the Wii screen and we are not playing Super Mario 64 down here. We are not using the homebrew channel. We are in fact going to do something that I, the sequel to the game that I've already done, we're going to do Animal Crossing City Folk. That is what we are beginning today. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know how excited you are for this project. I know I personally am very excited. I love this series, uh, City Folk's a great game, and, you know, this is going to be really casual, so it'll probably be a lot like my original Animal Crossing Let's Play, where, you know, I'm really relaxed, and we're going through it, and we're just having fun and talking about random things throughout my day, and, you know, we'll have guests come in, and, of course, online interactions aren't rated by the ESRB, the Entertainment Something Something Ratings Board, Entertainment Something Ratings Board, ESRB. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is Animal Crossing City Folk, yay! This was made, uh, 2008, obviously, as that says. Copyright 2008 Nintendo. And this is Rover. Rover is going to introduce us. Uh, ah, came to play, huh? Right now in Kanto, it's 12 a.m. Now, we already had a, I already had a town, uh, but we're gonna delete that town and start over because we have to start things over for an LP. Rebuild town. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You know what rebuilding means, right? You mean... You want to completely wipe out Kanto as we know it? They'll all be gone! Poof! Everyone in Kanto. G-O-N-E. Gone! All the hard-earned bells, all the furniture in every wonderful room. All of it gone, wiped out forever. A ghost, a dream when you wake up. Wow, that's really what you want to do? And of course it is. Rebuild it all. Wow, you're totally serious about this. Alright then, no going back, I'm going to wipe all of Kanto from existence. So meanwhile, while it's erasing the town, we'll uh, talk about a little bit about my previous LP of Animal Crossing. It was for the GameCube, and uh, yeah, as it's to the uh, town is gone, and bye-bye. So my previous uh, LP of this game was for the GameCube. I did 30 episodes of it, I had a few co-commentators, and that's really when I started, and that looks like a retarded cat. Um, sure hope that's not in my town. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, basically, this is going to be something similar to that. It's going to be 30 days. It's going to have, I believe at this point, I want to have 10 people co-com, but I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll keep tabs on that. So anyway, all right. Sorry to keep you waiting. I heard where you, you were moving in, so I came to get you. Nice, huh? Ah, life on your own. I know exactly what you're thinking about right now. Nobody to tell you what to do. Free to live exactly as you please. Sign me up. Oh, yeah. A new house, a new neighborhood, some new friends. A fresh new start and a whole world of possibility, uh, possible encounters away. I mean, how sweet is that? Oh, so sweet! So come on! Are you ready to start fresh? To grab a new bull by his horns and start a new adventure? Or you can also move your life over from Animal Crossing Wild World. That is a cool feature. You can actually import your town from that. It's it's neat, but no, we're going to start fresh. You just put a... Uh, I believe you hook up something, something around. Man, I'm right there with you. I mean, you're starting a whole new life, right? And what better way to start than with a sparkling fresh canvas? Yes, waiter, give me some of that. Yikes, the bus is gonna be here any second. Boy, time sure flies when I'm yammering. All right then, let's go. So, I've decided to read all these things in a distinctive voice. Everyone's gonna get their own voice. Anyway, you see Captain over here from Wild World is now a bus driver and, uh, phew, just made it. And we're sitting on the bus going to our new town. The first step in starting your new life is getting on the bus. Hey, if you don't mind my asking, is it December 25th, 2011 today, and is it 12.02 a.m.? Holy cow. No, it's not. It's only, um, no, no, it's not Christmas, actually. Uh, what? It's not? Then what do I have wrong? Well, let's see. I am going to be uploading this... Let's say it's, uh, let's say it's the 20, we'll just, it doesn't matter when I do this. Uh, we'll do the 24th of December. Uh, month two, no. Month, uh, one, two, day, uh, two, four, year 11. Okay. Because that's the day I'm recording this, actually. And it is not 12, it is actually going to be, uh, we'll... We'll say it's going to be like 9 o'clock a.m. Because I like playing in the early-ish morning. Uh, 9 o'clock a.m. Oh, correct? Okie dokie, so it's December 24th, 2011 at 9 a.m. Please tell me that's right. And that is perfect. Thanks, I don't know what is up with this watch. 
It gets confused. The watch gets confused. Magnets, how do they work? <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, I was about to ask, what's your name? Oh, I got that kind of wrong, but, uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and enter my name here. My name is Jeff, and I probably already said that already, so, yeah, G-E-O-F-F -F is my name, and, oh, Jeff, is it? Nice name, I like it. Cool, eh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it's fun, yet masculine, just like you. I know! So, Jeff, this town that you're moving to... What's it called? And we uh, we got this name submitted on Twitter, so it's gonna be Badgerville. Cause Honey Badger don't give a damn. Let's see if we can fit it. B-A-D-G-E-R-V-I-L-L. -L. Oh, we can't do anymore, huh? Uh, that's gonna throw a wrench. I'll just call it, uh, for all intents and purposes, we'll call it, um, we'll go with my favorite uh, generation. It's gonna be H. O E N N for Hoenn because I love third generation of Pokemon. Hoenn, huh? That's it. So, Hoenn, yeah, I hear that place is real lovely. You must be excited about your new life there. So excited. I hear that. Oh, yeah. But hey, listen, you know, where your house. But hey, listen, you know where your house is. Okay, I'll find one. Figure you'll tumble onto one once you get there, huh? Well, you're in luck. I heard that the housing market in Hoenn is booming and new homes are popping up everywhere. So if you're looking for a place, I guess you have some money with you. Some? Nice. How exciting for you. I hope whatever house you, t you buy lives up to your expectations. In case you didn't know, if you want info on the houses, the town hall is a great place to start. Here, check this out. So that's what our town looks like. So you can see we have a river running through it. I remember in my uh, original Animal Crossing, we had like a three level system. It was like the bottom here, and then a river, and then a waterfall, and then a middle, and then the river, and a waterfall, and then the top. So the store is represented by this. This is the store, Tom Nook Shop. This is the Able Sisters Tailors. The town hall where Pelly and Phyllis are, and that's okay. Uh, museum where Blathers and Celeste leave are. The gate where Booker and... Um, copper R and that is about it so yeah let's go ahead and hit OK there it's a map of Hoenn go on take it when you get to town use this to find the town hall yar next stop Hoenn Hoenn be next oh hey we're about to stop at Hoenn all right then I hope you get a chance to chat again sometime and that is going to uh, we're gonna get that's done for the introductions, and oh uh, yeah, so we have snow, and that's our town flag. Excuse me, I have the burps because I just ate dinner. Uh, that's the town flag, you get to customize that. And uh, oh cool, I have a little pompadour, pompadour hair there. And uh, did I, what, what face did I get? Let us see, did I get a good face or did I get a spooky face? Turn to me. Oh sweet, I, I like that face. Some of the faces are weird, I don't know. But I like this face. So anyway, uh, this game is played with both the nunchuck and the Wiimote. The Wiimote controls uh, what you point, and you can point and click to go where you want. Oh, look, a bird! How cute! Or you can walk around like this. And if you hold the uh, the B button there, I think it's the B button. Is it the B Z button? Z button you can sprint. B button you can also sprint. Uh, and then you press A on the tree that you want to shake it down. And then you press A on the object that or. No, you press B. Huh, I haven't played this in a while. So press B to do that. Um, what does this do? Okay, that's the save button. Well, that's where you save. That's cool. Oh, this is pretty neat. Okay. I like this setup. So anyway, let's go ahead and we'll uh, look for the... We'll go to the town hall. Uh, where was the town hall again? Right here. That's actually pretty convenient. Uh, we'll just click on the door here. And we go. The Howen Town Hall. I guess you could say this is like the Elite Four. Now, this is the recycle bin. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday, I believe, there's a delivery here. And you can find some cool items or nothing. Monday and Thursday. Okay, so is there anything there? No, there's not. And uh, you see those pairs that I have? How do I uh, open that? That was not the right button. Uh, we just go to pockets here. And uh, you see this pear. We can... I believe we can... Um, Oh, we can't eat it. We can't pick it up. Okay. And um, I know in the original Animal Crossing for the GameCube, you could... Oh, are you Jeff, the boy who just moved here? Welcome to Hoenn. My name is Pelly, and I work here at the town hall. Well, no need to dilly-dally. Let's take a look at where you'll be living. 
All available houses in Heaven are the same size and price. We currently have four vacant houses left. Of course, locations, roof, color, and interior styles of homes vary, so pick a place that suits you. Anyway, houses are all marked here. So these are the four houses. We can either live by the beach, uh, up here, on this level, overlooking the, uh, the beach or the bottom terrace. We can live up here by... I don't know who that is. Or you can live over here and have a neighbor. I usually prefer to take the beach house, uh, but I might take the upper house. So we'll just uh, we'll just go over there and uh, check those houses out. What I'm uh, attempting to do in this episode is just get through. Uh, you no, know, uh, I know how to open my map, of course. It's on the little bottom tray here. Oh, good. Well, off you go. So we'll go ahead and check out the two houses that I'm going to look at. This is like real house shopping. I remember when we were looking for the house we bought, it literally, like, we went to like five houses a day and, you know, we spent like an hour there. It was crazy the amount of effort we put in. Um, anyway, I'm just looking here. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to these people because that's going to be a Tom Nook kind of chore thing later on. So we'll just go ahead and do, what do you want? Honestly, who runs around bright eye and bushy tailed at this hour? Now, who might you be? Oh, you're the new guy folks have been buzzing about. Everyone calls me Harry, see? As you can tell, I'm not much of an early riser, beach bum. Any time you got questions about this town, swing by. I'll be happy to help, as long as it's after breakfast. Yeah, sounds like a Harry situation. Ho ho, ho ho, ha <laughs> Would you be interested in buying a tree? Oh, that's pretty cool, little uh, run down there, I like that. Uh, I'm really, I'm always interested in the aesthetics of Animal Crossing towns for some reason, and if you run by a fish, you'll scare them away, by the way. Uh, but I, I don't know, it always interests me. And I'm also a, a big fan of the graphical improvements they made for this game, even though it is a Wii game. Uh, it looks really good in 480p compared to a lot of other uh, stuff. So is this is the, is this the beach house, or is this is? So this is the house available by the beach. So we'll go ahead and we'll check this house out. I believe this might be the one with the metal floors, maybe, because the house is root. Uh, no, this is uh, some like you got a little classic carpet going here. You got a uh, wood paneling. I like the wood paneling, not so much the carpet. So we'll go ahead and check the house above the outlook and see what we have there, because that might be. Oh God, Tom Nook! Oh God, the coon! He's a tanuki, if you didn't know. He's a raccoon dog, not just a raccoon. People mistake him for that. Uh, my name is Tom Nook, but if you didn't get it, like, Nook is in, like, uh, like, Tanooki. Uh, no, I'm not liking it, really. Oh, gracious, really? Well, I guess it is the biggest purchase most people ever make. I need a voice for Tom Nook. Uh, so we'll, we'll work on that Tom Nook voice. I don't know what we'll do, but it'll be, it'll be something interesting, if that's for sure. Oh, look, another person. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. Hmm, now why would someone new come walking up to me? Wait a second, are you trying to be nice to me? Are you introducing yourself? How nice, I think I might just take you under my wing, so to speak. Your name is Jeff, right? I'm Barbara. If you ever need any help with anything, just ask me, darling. You see, I like their little uh, sayings they have. Some of them have pretty funny ones. Um, I believe the next house is going to be uh, right here. So let's go ahead. This roof, this one looks like it has a green roof, which is pretty cool. I like the color green, I guess. Uh, what is inside, though? What what do we have in here? Oh, oh, for the love of Pete, that that wall is so bad. It makes me want to rip my eyes out and then throw them in the dumpster and then take them out of the dumpster and throw them back in the sink and put them down the garbage disposal. I think we're gonna take the beach house. Well, well, Jeff. I bet that was the first time you've seen a house like that. Well, it was the first time I've seen a house like horrible. <laughs> uh, I didn't, it's not so good. No. Uh, so we'll go ahead and buy the house down by the beach. Down by the beach. Dum dum da dum. Down by the beach. That house is gonna be mine. Down by the beach. I'm singing real bad, but it's down by the beach. I don't know why I'm singing a song. Uh, ooh, look, a snowball. You can roll these up and create snowmen, and they'll give you pieces of the snowman set. Um... Not really gonna bother with it right now, but we'll go in here and then go out. I can always just change the floor, but that car, that, 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 I could not deal with that freaking, like, the, uh, the walls were so ugly, that wallpaper, oh my goodness. If it was in my house, like in real life, I would rip it down. I would take it, I would rip it down, and I would burn it with all the fire in the world. I would throw it in a lava pit in Minecraft. 
Well, well, Jeff, so you really like it, yes? Are you ready to buy? I'll buy it. Wait, that was me. I'll buy it. Well, then, that decides it. From now on, this is your house, Jeff. Man, think of that stereo inside as a moving in gift from old Tom Nook, hmm? Man, I couldn't sell that anyway. So tell me, Jeff, did you see the attic? Whenever you're done playing in hoeing, make sure you go to sleep in the bed in the attic. Then you'll be able to remember all the things you did that day, yes? If you forget to do that, it'll be like you never did anything at all. So please, don't ever forget to do it. A crucial detail, yes? That's all I need to say about the house, but I suppose you might have questions, yes? Do you want me to repeat it all in case you missed something? No, that's okay, kindly. Yes, yes, you'll figure it out in time. Now we need to broach the subject, the, the delicate subject of payment. So, um, there's the land, the building taxes, surcharges, various fees and whatnot. So the total for the house is 19,800 bales. Well, I guess I'll have to pay for that. Ah, yes, now that's good to hear. Yes, yes, very good. I will appreciate it if you pay the money by transfer if you don't mind. I'll let you know the details later. But, Jeff, there is something more important to settling in the house. That is, how do you plan on making a living here? You see, this is a business for me, yes? So I expect you to pay off that loan eventually. Yes, yes. Hmm, yes. I know. Jeff, you can come work for me part-time at the shop for a little while. I can teach you how to make money, show you around the town. Two birds with one stone, yes? I'll do it. Very good, it's decided. Well, I can't leave the shop unattended forever, so let's get down to brass tacks. Now, you decided on a fine house, so why don't you introduce yourself to everyone in town? Oh, and make especially sure to introduce yourself to the mayor. Yes, yes, the mayor should be in the town hall, so don't forget. In the meantime, I'll go get some work ready for you. Just come by the shop later, Jeff, yeah? You can take a look at your map to find the shop in the town hall, so don't run about willy-nilly. So... That is going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give this a like for a brand new Let's Play. Leave me a comment with what you think and who you would like to see CoCom if possible. I have already have about six people lined up. If you want to be in it, please send me your Animal Crossing City Folk information. Leave it either in a PM. Yeah, leave it in a PM. I would prefer that. Send a PM with friend code, town name, person, whatever you need to send me. And we will get that sorted out. I already have six, so I only have four slots open. So the next one will be pretty much either first come, first serve, or I'll have to pick and choose. And, you know, so just go ahead and get those friend codes on in, and I will see you in the next video.